Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time it's for getting everything we can in Red Bow. A game developed by Stranger and Grab the Games and published by Rattalika Games and also Grab the Games. Now you can pick this up right now for £4.99 and this is easy but it's fun and it'll take less than an hour to complete so happy days. So we've got three chapters, we've got to do quite a bit to get all the game's 37 achievements with a lot of different endings etc. But with it being so short and having so many achievements, this uh, this game is basically a very satisfactory completion. And so with that being said then, let us begin. And first things first, we basically wake up in a nightmare world, but we don't know that yet. So get out of bed, interact, uh, to go through any place you've got to press the A or X button to interact with it. Go to the bookshelf and grab the key. And by the way, just in case you didn't notice, your name is Ro, which I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, press the start button, get out your inventory, scroll across to the door key and then actually leave. And that already unlocks our first achievement then. And from this point, you're going to start straightening yourself. Again, I just smashed through literally all of the dialogues. A lot of dialogue in here. Just keep smashing the A or X button on PlayStation to smash through it. Go all the way up and interact with uh, Looney or whatever. The, or this creature looking giraffe thing. And you'll see why it's a giraffe thing. No. Looks like a... To be honest, it kind of looks like a broom. Until she turns around and then you're like, ah, shit. So just keep smashing through the dialogue at this point. Oh, Kubi, not Looney. Ah, close enough. So here, achievement number two will unlock, and from here, just go directly to the left. Uh, as long as you don't get stuck, which you can sometimes. Go past the opening there, up to this hut. There's only one hut here. Try to get in, but we, it is locked. Leave me alone. Tamp in. So try and exit now. And um, Basically, something will happen. We will be able to get in the hut. And then talk to the, um, the hangable looking thing in here now. Again, smash through all the dialogue with the A button. Oh my god, you're hanging. So after you talk with Akira, Akira, go to the sink before you exit. Another achievement unlocks for us. Uh, press it a couple of times if you're, if you're not sure, but really once should be uh, enough. And that'll get us another achievement straight away. So now we can head back to Kubi Bear at the top. So yeah, there'll be a few points throughout this game. There'll be a lot of dialogue like this for a minute or two, and they'll also and it'll also affect different endings. So go back to where the hut was, but instead of going to the hut, go to the bin next to it through the little gap. Press A, and that'll give us a picture, and that'll give us also another achievement. Before you walk in, though, if you do accidentally walk in, don't worry. Just go out. Make sure to look through the window first before you actually talk to Akira again. That'll unlock us another achievement. If you do happen to miss that one, of course, it only takes literally two minutes to get back to this point anyway. So go back in and talk to Shakira Akira again. Uh, actually show her the picture. And that will... Ah, she's tampered. She's, she's emotional now. Well done. Well, 
And yep, you guessed it, that's another achievement for us. And this is what I meant by satisfactory completion. You get so many achievements chucked to you within minutes. It's, oh, it's amazing. Everyone's dream. So don't go to Kubi, go all the way down, all the way down until you reach the end. And there's a red ribbon on there for us to take, so grab that. And guess what that does? Yes, it unlocks us another achievement. It's just, oh, it's perfect, isn't it? It's every achievement lover's dream, that. Then go back to Kubi anyway, and what we'll have to do now, at this point, very important, save your game, because we will be getting a few of these sort of different endings. So first of all, go to the debris next to Kubi, and just chuck the pendant on it. So that will unlock us another achievement, but what we can do at this point then, is quit out to the main menu and press continue, and we will be back out where Kubi was. And then we'll be throwing the picture on it next to get a different, another achievement for that. So that will be the Forgiveness Prize ending. Or ending or whatever it is. But again, what we'll do, we'll quit out once again. Uh, continue back in to go outside where Kubi was yet again. And this is what I mean, this is why, you know, you'll be able to get this under an hour sort of following this guide, etc. But doing this on your own would take a lot longer because there's so many endings and so many things to do. But this time, to the debris, put the ribbon on it this time, and again, the same thing will happen. So this is the end of chapter one, uh, more or less now. So what we can do, go back through the door. We're not quitting out this time. Go to the left, pass all the kitchen area and go out through the back door. And this now is chapter two. And again, this will be the same thing as basically chapter one. So we'll be saving at certain points and getting a few different endings, a few different um, things. So, and there's our first achievement of this chapter. Anyway, go to the left, Grab some fireworks. You say you don't need any more, but you could always do with more fireworks. Go to the magazines then, and that will unlock us yet another achievement. <laughs> so again, a few little things that we've got to do in the house. First things first, you'll automatically go up to the phone. And that unlocks the A Random Caller achievement. Now go past the first bookshelf, or the first shelf on the left, push the stepladder out of the way, just interact with it once, and then what we can do is um, interact with the shells and that'll grab us a lighter, which we need for firework explosions. Then we can go up the stairs now. Again, press the A button to interact and go up the stairs, go to the uh, left, have a look at the photo frames to unlock smile for the camera achievement. It's just all coming at you, bam, 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 bam. And now we can go through the door. So first things first then, look out of the window, there's a kitty there and he's probably gonna, well, we, we are gonna shit him up now, which can be hilarious, but it unlocks us again, yet another achievement. Go to the stove and go into your inventory and then use the firecrackers on them. And then of course, you know where this is going. Use the lighter on it, and uh, well, well, sadly they're not brilliant fireworks, but they're enough to uh, scare Mr. Kitty for us. And to be honest, they probably could have done a better name for the cat, you know, like Mr. Bigglesworth or, or Santa Claus or Raven Claw. Ah, <laughs> get it, get it. Yeah. Anyway, we quickly moving on. Then get out of there and go back down the stairs once you're done with that. And Mr. Kitty, or, no, I'm going to call him Mr. Bigglesworth, because that's hilarious. So now we've got a storage key, which again, unlocks us yet another achievement. Go back up the stairs, but this time we'll be going to the room directly in front of us. 
and we are going to find someone called Mini Quiche. His name's not Mini Quiche, it's Mini Kui, I think, but I call him Mini Quiche for hilarity effects. So what it seems to me is Kokai is a little bit of a fanny, he want, doesn't want to break up with Mini Quiche, and is getting us to kill her instead. What a dick move there, dick move bro. <laughs> anyway, go to the power box, switch that off to the right of the magazine rack there, go inside, before we go upstairs, go to the first shelf on your right to get some torch oil. I mean, come on, we've all broken up with people in the past, you don't need to get a, a bloody little girl to kill her for you. Yeah, it's disgusting. Disgusting! Anyway, go into the room um, to the left first. And we'll be grabbing the power cable from the television, which is just on your right there. I mean, you can probably see it. It's pretty obvious, but, you know, just in case. And now we can go out of this room again. Just have a look once again at the photo frames to get a little bit of a clearer picture. And there we go then, so we've got that now, we're all good, we don't need to keep clicking the photo frames. And go ahead, go downstairs once again. Now what we'll be doing then is just a few little setups, get, got to get it perfectly in place. So go back down the manhole cover then, go and see Cocknose again, Cock, Cockeye, sorry, Cockeye. <laughs> Cockeye, that doesn't make it better, does it? Um, go ahead, spill the oil all over the show. Again, row, row, row your boat. It's going to do it automatically. And then there's a broken TV just to the left of iCock. And, uh, yeah, it's just the same dialogue. You don't need to keep going mad there. Um, get out your inventory again and get the cable. Now we just need to turn the power back on. So we'll go back outside. And obviously we'll skip that for now because there's no one to fry, but we are going to be seeing Mini Quiche now. So this is the point of no return then, so go back outside and very importantly, make sure to make a manual save. Right here, save the game, for the love of God, save the game. Otherwise you'll have to come back to this point if you miss anything up. So, time to fry, turn on the power box, and your quiche at the lovely 180 degrees for about 3 seconds is looking lovely now. So now we can go back on stage, we get an achievement for doing that, you naughty little girl. But Coco's happy with that. Well, maybe not, I don't think he was too happy actually, but still, screw it anyway. So that's another achievement, he basically ends up killing us anyway, so it makes no difference. Now we can go back ahead, continue. And we'll be right back outside the power box again. This time we go down into the manhole cover. And we'll be killing Mini Kish a different way. So 
So once the dialogue ends, then go into your inventory, get your lighter out, and you'll automatically chuck it on the oil, killing the quiche, and getting us another achievement. So there we go then, that's yet another achievement uh, for burning the bride. Uh, this time again what we'll do is quit out to the main menu once again and we're going to continue back in. Go back down the manhole cover, only this time we'll be showing Quiche the picture. So there we go, then that's a nice happier ending to go out on, eh? We're, we're all happy with a bit of undying love. You can't beat it, can you? But anyway, that's it then, basically for chapter two now. So we'll go back downstairs, interact with the sink this time, and that'll get us on the third chapter, and for some reason, we're on a boat. Again, unlocks us yet another achievement. So first things first, go to the left and go all the way up. And we've get, uh, <laughs> We've get, we've got a little fishing rod item to use. This is gonna come in handy immediately, so go all the way to the right hand side now and then go up. And we'll be fishing out a little key. Not a cocaine key, just a regular key. Don't know what it's like on boats, so I can't judge. So from this point then, now we can go through the door in the middle to, cap to uh, talk to Captain Shoujo. Like Bojo the Clown, except he is a captain of a made-up ship, Shoujo. So, anyway, this is where we'll get the What, what We Do With A Drunken Sailor achievement. And before we leave, make sure to pick up the key, which is on the right-hand side of the barrels there. Now we can go outside and you see the locked sort of gate there just down the hull. Don't use the old key because that does not work, but use the L bar key instead. And you just, well, she just throws that anyway, so happy days. Now nip down to the hull. Now very important, you're going to be speaking to a wooby or umby right here. Make sure to go sort of kind of slow. Make sure to only talk to him once. When the dialogue finishes, do not talk to him again. It's very important. So go as slow as you can here. But again, when the dialogue ends, don't talk to him again. So there we go, that will unlock the I am Umbi achievement, and uh, go to the left, grab a crowbar, uh, now, you know, the story is very interesting, I'm just smashing through the dialogue, but, uh, just use the crowbar here, by the way, if, again, if, uh, hopefully, it's definitely worth you just actually reading the dialogue, because there's a lot of interesting stuff that does happen in this game. So it is worth following. So once you break the uh, the crate, go straight through, and there is a locked gate right there for us. Now that is where we use the old key. There we go. Happy days. Luckily, there's not a lot to do on this boat. And go ahead, go through the rum bottles, interact the empty bottle with it, and that will give us a bottle of rum, which will be given to Shoujo the Clown in just a little bit. Very important, again, save the game here. Save, 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 save the game. Because what we'll be doing is using the gate switch there. And what we will be doing is pressing it just a few times. Keep clicking it until we release Umbi. It'll take about four or five. 
attempts. There it is. Let's free him. Obviously, that's not a good thing. He goes and basically uh, messes Schnitt up. This signifies the end of the game. We messed that up. But we do get another achievement for it. Happy days again. But we will continue back into it. So as long as you save the game around here, um, double check, just make sure if you've got the rum or not, uh, just in case, but you should have been good to go anyway. So now we can happily nip on. The hole is there somewhere. I never have any problem finding the hole. Uh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Um, what we will do here is make another save. So again, save, save, save the game. And this time we'll go up the ladder, ignore Umbro for a minute, and go back through the cabin. And obviously Umbi, if you haven't been paying attention, he's basically just told us a story of what Shoujo's done to him. Give him the rum, and uh, yeah. So there we go. Happy with that then. We get another achievement, but we are up to the lighthouse. Now, this is where the true ending of the game actually happens, but we'll be coming back here a couple of times. So there's, you know, no enemies, nobody to talk to in this little particular area. There we go. So we get yet another achievement. See, I told you it's great, isn't it? But all we're doing is going up to the lighthouse and there's basically two characters that we're just going to smash a little bit of dialogue with and that sort of ends the game. Fun times ahead! Mama did not give you a good end in there, so sadly for us, uh, with the credits, you cannot skip the credits, unfortunately, but they only they take around less than a minute. So when the credits end, then we'll continue back into the game to be outside where we spoke to Umbi. Same thing again. Um, remember to just speak to Umbi once, so take it sort of nice and slow. Once the dialogue ends, do not talk to him again. So once you speak to Umbi then, go ahead, go back up the ladder. This time we'll be going to the captain's office. Talk to the captain first and you'll get another achievement called the Truth Hurts. Then give him the run and we'll be outside the lighthouse again. And this bit was actually very interesting. He is a bit of a knob. Only this time we're not actually going to the lighthouse, so we'll quit out of this game once again. And then when we do that, we will continue and we'll end up um, outside of Umbi, Umbi's Umbiness again. This time what we'll do is speak to Umbi for a third time. Again, take it nice and slow, make sure to talk to him just this once and don't accidentally talk to him again afterwards. Now it's a bit like playing a bad game of pass the parcel or shoot the messenger or don't shoot the messenger. So go back to Captain Shoujo, have a little conversation with him. Then when you're done with Bojo Shoujo, go back down and speak to Umbi again. I don't know why he can't literally just go down the hall and have a little conversation with him, with him or uh, whatever, but uh, that's what game characters are there for, I suppose. So 
So keep smashing through all of the dialogue with Umbi here, it doesn't matter because at the end we will be taken straight to the lighthouse again. But this is basically the, um, uh, more or less the sort of, this is the final ending of the game now. So once we complete this, we'll be starting a new game to get the final achievement of the game. So all we have to do here then, again you've got an achievement there, it takes a lot to sink a friendship. What we've done earlier, we'll be going straight up to the lighthouse, no quitting, straight up to the lighthouse, talk to the two characters here. And again you'll have to skip through the dialogue, that'll take about 50 seconds to a minute extra. And then, and then that's it, so we then have to start a new game, do a couple of certain things, it'll only take around 10 to 12 minutes to complete because obviously we don't have to uh, piss around or do anything. Which, you know, will always help us, but then again, having to play through the through the game, even if it is 10 minutes, it's just, ugh, just 10 minutes extra. I, I'm not a fan of having to replay a game to get one more achievement, but tis what it is, so go ahead, talk to Mama Bear right here, and then afterwards, after the credits again, remember, we are starting a new game. There we go then, so you can't really beat a good ending, can you? It always makes everyone happy. So, once again, all we've got to do is start a new game. Again, we don't have to um, mess around with anything. We'll be going, s s basic, like I said, it'll take about 10 to 12 minutes. So, first of all, go ahead, grab the key from the bookshelf. Now, uh, also, what you can do is basically walk and sprint quicker, pressing, the, uh, pressing and holding the B button or the circle button on the PlayStation. Uh, that'll just get through it just a little bit quicker. So we're going to go straight up to Kubnas right here, as soon as we get outside. Now for this last playthrough I won't really be talking that much, only when the sort of important stuff what we've got to do is happening. Because it's all basically more or less the same as the first playthrough, so try and get through this hut door here, try and exit and then you'll be able to go in and talk to Akira Shakira. And once we're done here then, go straight back up to Kubi, put the pendant in where the debris is, and that is that. We're not going to be doing anything else. Putting the pendant in, talk to Kubi, job is a good one. And now we'll be heading straight for chapter two. See, told you it was nice and quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
So again, you'll be doing exactly all of the same things you were doing uh, throughout the first playthrough. So we'll have to push the stepladder, get the lighter, just collect all the items, go upstairs and speak to Minikish, uh, mess around with the fireworks, etc. So, you know, you should be all sort of used to it by now, but just keep following on screen. Remember to grab the um, manhole cover thing from the toilet before you leave, because we ain't getting there. Otherwise, tr try and avoid some of the um, poop and crap if you can as well. You don't want to get don't want to get any of that on your hands because that's disgusting. So again, like I said, the, there's not that many differences in both of these playthroughs. So we'll be slamming through, opening the manhole cover. Uh, don't worry about saving the game here, that was just an accident, just a mistake, you don't need to save the game, so don't worry about that. Now we can open the manhole cover, nip on down. And now we can just run up to Cockeye. Yeah, so you can see where we're sort of um, just completely missing everything out. We're going straight, straight up to Cockeye right here after grabbing the oil. Um, because what we'll be doing is, again, we'll be burning mini quiche rather than um, just electrifying her or anything. So put the oil down, go up to mini quiche, get it to come down and then use the lighter on her. And then that will be that. We'll be on to chapter three very quickly then. So happy days, the final, final chapter of the game now, and like I said, it's exactly the same as the last one, we get a fishing rod, we need to grab the key so we can get down to the hull, etc, etc, but we are almost done now.
So we will be talking to Umbi for the first time. Again, just like the first one, make sure to only speak to him once, so be careful with the dialogue. As soon as he stops the dialogue, do not interact with him again at this point. And then, of course, then it's just grabbing the crowbar on the left, going up to all the empty rum bottles and stuff are earlier. So just doing that again. So to properly end this one, do not speak to Umbi again, just walk on by, ignore that weird eye guy looking thing. Give the rum straight to Captain Shoujo, don't speak to him first, give the rum to him straight away. And we're going to end up at the lighthouse, and that will be that, that'll be the game end. Happy days, that should be a final achievement unlocked then. So I will say my uh, goodbyes here then, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope this guide helped and that you enjoyed the game. As it was a, a pretty wacky one, pretty enjoyable uh, from my side anyway. But again, thank you so much for watching. If it did help, if the guide did help, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even Patreon now. And you will see links in the description um, below the video and at the very end of the video if you want to find me so again thank you very very much guys and gals i shall see you in the next one big love Thank you.